Now, the universe whispers secrets and numbers so vast that they defy comprehension. I'd love to stand there and look out onto, with Neptune rising in the sky over this frozen surface. I'd love to do that. Um, but I'd put a big coat on. Brian Cox's revelation about the imminent explosion of Betelgeuse has sent waves of curiosity, speculation, and deep cosmic reflection through both the scientific community and the public sphere. As the renowned physicist calmly but firmly delivered the news, Betelgeuse, the massive red supergiant star in the Orion constellation, is now set to explode in just two weeks with a direct impact on Earth. What was once a distant astronomical event became something immediate and potentially transformational. The once theoretical or far future prospect of a supernova visible from Earth has suddenly shifted into a countdown toward a celestial event that will shake the very boundaries of human understanding. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Betelgeuse has always stood out in the night sky, a reddish glimmer on Orion's shoulder, captivating astronomers for centuries with its unstable behavior and immense size, about 700 times the diameter of the Sun. Located around 642 light years away, it is close enough to be one of the brightest stars in the night sky, yet far enough to make its eventual explosion a matter of intellectual interest rather than concern. That narrative has changed. Cox's announcement suggests something extraordinary, that the radiation, energy burst, or some unknown facet of the star's detonation is going to interact directly with Earth in a way that is neither purely observational nor purely theoretical. The notion that a star could go supernova and produce effects that reach us within a matter of weeks implies a highly unusual set of cosmic circumstances. Normally, any light or energy from a supernova would take hundreds of years to arrive, given the distances involved. For this event to have a direct impact in such a short time frame, there must be more at play. Perhaps an anomaly in the space-time fabric, a form of radiation moving faster than light in a certain medium, or even a previously undetected method of stellar energy transmission. What Cox seems to have tapped into is something that bypasses conventional astrophysics or at least stretches it beyond its current limits. The implications for Earth are enormous. If Betelgeuse's explosion can impact our planet within weeks, the most pressing concern becomes the nature of that impact. The concept of a direct impact doesn't necessarily imply physical destruction or fiery cataclysm. It could refer to a wave of radiation, a shockwave of neutrinos, or a flood of exotic particles previously confined to theoretical papers. While Earth is bathed constantly in radiation from space, the intensity and frequency of what a supernova produces could be on an entirely different scale. This could affect everything from satellite operations to human biology. Space agencies and observatories around the globe are undoubtedly scrambling to recalibrate their instruments, looking toward Betelgeuse for signs of acceleration toward collapse. A red supergiant like Betelgeuse undergoes a tumultuous final phase, during which it burns through its remaining nuclear fuel rapidly, producing iron in its core until gravity overwhelms the internal pressure, triggering a massive collapse followed by an outward explosion of unthinkable force. The timeline Cox has provided, mere weeks, indicates that the star is now in the final throes of its life, teetering on the brink of supernova. For it to reach us in a way that causes a direct impact, something about the explosion's mechanics must be astonishingly novel. A supernova within our galactic neighborhood is a rare event, and one as close as Betelgeuse could become a once-in-a-civilization moment. Beyond the physical implications, the cultural and psychological consequences of such an event cannot be understated. Humanity has long looked to the stars for navigation, inspiration, and existential comfort. The idea that one of those stars, so embedded in mythology and scientific literature alike, could erupt in a display visible during daylight, disrupting circadian rhythms, communication systems, and even our electromagnetic environment would be awe-inspiring and disorienting all at once. If the light from the explosion becomes visible in broad daylight, it would dominate our skies for weeks or even months, a second sun blazing during the day and casting eerie shadows at night. The visual spectacle alone could redefine humanity's relationship with the cosmos. Telescopes would no longer be required to observe distant celestial drama. Everyone from schoolchildren to astronomers would have a front row seat to a stellar death that plays out in real time.
Such a profound cosmic event would force a reconsideration of humanity's place in the universe, not through philosophy, but through lived experience. There are scientific predictions suggesting that gamma-ray burst GRBs or high-energy neutrino emissions could accompany a nearby supernova. GRBs are directional, meaning if Earth happened to be in the path of one, the effects could range from minor to catastrophic, depending on the intensity and duration. These emissions could strip away portions of the ozone layer, increase mutation rates, or interfere with electronic systems. While Earth's atmosphere provides a layer of protection, the unknowns of Betelgeuse's final moments add a layer of unpredictability. Scientists must now model scenarios that until now were limited to distant galaxies. A disruption in the magnetosphere could also occur if the particle bombardment exceeds thresholds not seen in recorded history. The planet's magnetic shield, vital in protecting us from solar and cosmic radiation, might react in ways we have never witnessed. Aurora displays could become commonplace across equatorial regions, with the skies of tropical nations igniting in otherworldly greens, reds, and purples. Power grids, aviation paths, and communication networks might need urgent recalibration or protective shutdowns. Satellites could fail, forcing a momentary regression in global connectivity. Even more subtle but profound effects could ripple through biological systems. Living organisms are responsive to changes in electromagnetic fields, light exposure, and radiation. There is ongoing research into how solar storms affect mood, migratory patterns, and even cell activity. The Betelgeuse event, if as energetic as suggested, could induce measurable biological responses across the biosphere. Sleep cycles could alter under sustained daylight. Animals could be thrown into behavioral chaos. These disruptions could manifest in cascading ecological consequences that may not be fully appreciated until well after the event. From a technological standpoint, there's an urgent need to safeguard critical infrastructure. Emergency meetings among satellite operators, telecom giants, and national space agencies are likely already in motion, shielding sensitive electronics, adjusting satellite orbits, and establishing redundancy for GPS and communication systems are no longer theoretical drills. They are immediate priorities. Even space-based observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope might need to shift focus or orientation to avoid overexposure, while capturing as much scientific data as possible during this once-in-an-epic explosion. Amidst the threat, however, lies an unparalleled scientific opportunity. The sheer volume of data to be collected from such a nearby supernova will be invaluable. For decades, astronomers have modeled supernova mechanics, but observing one in real time this close offers a natural laboratory like no other. It may help answer long-standing questions about nucleosynthesis, the origin of heavy elements, and the exact processes involved in stellar core collapse. Detectors worldwide, from neutrino observatories buried deep under mountains to wide-field telescopes, will be pointed toward Orion, capturing terabytes of raw knowledge from every wavelength imaginable. Philosophically, the event challenges the perception of cosmic stability. Stars are typically seen as eternal fixtures, moving slowly over millennia. Betelgeuse defies that comfort. It reminds us that the universe is dynamic, volatile, and far from static. Civilizations rise and fall under these stars, yet here we are, standing on the precipice of watching one of the universe's mightiest forces play out in plain sight. The sense of unity that such a cosmic event might foster is not just poetic, it's practical. In a world often divided by borders and ideologies, the universe may offer a singular moment of shared experience that transcends all boundaries. Betelgeuse also serves as a celestial messenger, perhaps even a harbinger, its explosion, while not sentient, marks the end of a chapter written across hundreds of millions of years. The elements forged in its final seconds, gold, platinum, uranium, will be scattered across space, seeding future star systems, and possibly life. The spectacle we are about to witness is not destruction, but transformation on a cosmic scale. If there is an emotional response to be had, it is not fear but awe, a reverence for the forces that sculpt galaxies and ultimately life itself. Schools, media outlets, and cultural institutions will seize upon this event not only as a scientific moment, but a cultural phenomenon. Artists will interpret the spectacle in music, painting, and film. Poets will try to capture its light in words. Children will remember where they were when the sky changed. 
The societal memory of Betelgeuse's explosion will echo for generations, not just as an astronomical milestone, but as a turning point in how humanity perceives its place under the stars. In military and strategic domains, governments may begin reassessing the vulnerability of defense systems to cosmic phenomena. While the explosion is not a weapon, its capacity to interfere with high-altitude sensors, GPS tracking, and orbital surveillance may be interpreted as a soft vulnerability. Discussions around space-based resilience, international protocols for cosmic emergencies, and civilian access to real-time data are bound to intensify. Even policy will need to adapt to a cosmos no longer seen as immutable. The religious and metaphysical implications will also ripple out. Ancient civilizations often interpreted celestial events as omens. While today's world is largely secular in its understanding of astronomy, the emotional resonance of a star exploding with visible consequences cannot be denied. It may rekindle spiritual questions in societies around the globe. What does it mean to witness the death of a star? Does this grand finale signify anything beyond physics? For many, these questions will be as important as the scientific ones. With every passing day, the star moves closer to its inevitable collapse, and with it, Earth draws nearer to an event of celestial proportions. Brian Cox's announcement didn't just inform, it transformed Betelgeuse from a distant red dot to a ticking cosmic clock. The countdown has begun, not to an apocalypse, but to a revelation. A moment when the universe reminds us that we are part of a much larger, ever-evolving story. As the world waits under skies soon to change, the human spirit lifts its gaze not in dread, but in wonder, poised for the arrival of light born from the death of a star. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Betelgeuse's explosion? Excited or worried? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.